One time a fifth grade teacher asked her students, can you move a tree from this side of the street to the other side of the street? And the students looked at her and responded, no, it's impossible. A tree's too big. Then she smiled at them and said, it is possible. And then the teacher showed them a seed and explained that a seed is full of potential. Within a seed, there is a plant, a vine, or maybe even a big tree. In the Gospels, Jesus compares his word to a seed many times. The parable of the mustard seed. The parable of the man who goes out to sow seed. The parable of the wheat and the weeds growing together. And many others. In these parables, Jesus is teaching us that his word is full of potential. His word has the capacity to change us. It is the power to make us his disciples, one people of God. In other words, his word is the key for entering the kingdom of God. As God says in the Old Testament through the prophet Isaiah, the word which leaves my mouth does not return to me without result. It goes and does my will. It accomplishes my mission. Jesus also tells us many times, he who has ears, let him listen. We listen to the word when we pay attention, when we reflect on this word, and when we put this word into action. There are many, maybe including ourselves, who go to church and listen to the word of God. Powerful words like, love one another as I have loved you. Come to me, all you who are weary and find life burdensome, and I will refresh you. I am the resurrection and the life. They listen, but 10 minutes later, they forget these very powerful words. We really listen to the word when we pay attention. This word is for me. God is speaking to me. We really listen when we reflect on this word. What is God saying to me at this moment in my life? What do I need to do in order to respond? We really listen to the word when we put this word into action. When we love, when we forgive, when we believe. He who has ears, let him listen. When we really listen to the word, little by little, the word grows within us. The word has an impact in our lives. It changes us. It makes us a people who not only read the Bible, but a people of the word. A people who has the word in our heart. It makes us a people who not only come to church, but a people who are a church, a community, really united in Jesus. It makes us a people who not only know the, the word, but who live that word. Today we honor the Virgin Mary, our mother of perpetual help, a woman of the word. In her famous prayer, the Magnificat, we see that Mary always paid attention, lots of attention to the word of God. And she let this word have an impact in her life. 
In this famous prayer, Mary prays with confidence and conviction. St. Luke also tells us that Mary, for her part, treasured all the events that happened around the time of the birth of Jesus and returned to meditate on them. These reflections are reflections on the events in the life of Jesus, the living word. And Mary continued to reflect on these events throughout his life. Can we move a tree from one side of the street to the other? Yes, if the tree is within a seed. Can we be real disciples of Jesus? Yes, if following the example of our mother of perpetual help, we let God's word grow within us.